Yo, what is it, guys? In today's video, we have the Power Rangers Dino Fury Terra Freeze Blue Ranger with Bike and Lord Zed. So let's get into it. As you can tell, the package is a little bit damaged, so we're just gonna cut into the tape. Um, is it tape or is it plastic? I I think it's plastic, I really do. Oh, oh no, it was cardboard. No, we'll go from the other side actually. Probably a lot easier. Side. Let's put that aside. All right, so get these things out. Put the box aside. So first, take a look what's in here. So first thing we have is the Terra Freeze bike. All right, cool. Set it aside right there. We'll just lay it down, I guess. Now for the figures. All right. All right, so now we got the figures out. Alright, so now that we got the figures out, take a look at them. We'll start with, eh, let's start with the bike, actually. So, for the bike, there's not much to talk about. It's, it's just it's just the bike that the um, Blue Ranger rides around on. Um, so, the, the wheels spin like it should. Uh, it's got a dyno head on it. Um signifying this is a dino bike but there's really not much to talk about it so we're just going to get right into the figures so first with the terra freeze blue ranger figure let's get into it all right so for the articulation we have about a 90 degree break maybe just a little bit over 90 degrees in the elbow go up about that far the armor don't get in the way, just really hinder joints. Uh, head doesn't move at all, that's very disappointing. And legs can't go out, or yes, I can go outwards. I stand corrected. They can go out into a side kicking position. They can go up into a front kicking position. Knees bend about 90 degrees. Uh, no wrist articulation, no ankle articulation, that went very bad, but, um, you can do the splits really good, so, that's about it for the Blue Ranger, he also comes with a Chromo Fury Saver, so, let's just have him hold on to the Chromo Fury Saver, So, he's, he can hold the Chroma Fury Saber pretty good. Of course, you're going to want the Dino face, face forward like that. So, that's really good. So, let's do a... So... Yeah, and then he's got the wings that um, pop on. So like he can, I think he's supposed to be able to fly in this armor. And you just like peg him in. 
behind the um like that and like you can either like they also have articulations they can go down you just put one behind the other to make them go straight down like that to where like i'm um, just like in a chilling in a chill mode to where he's not fighting no one at the moment or you can spread him out to where like he's basically should be flying like this like so that's good but pretty cool figure so I'm right there so for a quick pose i went for like a battle pose where he's like like about to fight someone or something like that so that's good So one big problem with the bike is I can't really stand it up and do an actual pose or it'll fall down. So I'm just going to hold it for this pose. So I have him like in a attacking pose on the bike where he's like riding it and then I attack someone in front of him. He may be attacking Zed. But all right. So that's, that's good. All right. So now for Zed's articulation, if that makes sense. Uh, here we got Zed. And so, for the articulation for Zed, elbow bends just about 90 degrees. Like he's flexing, you can see all those muscles. Now, unlike the Blue Ranger, his head does move. So, there is no waist articulation, or ankle, or wrist articulation. But the knees do bend about 90 degrees. Arms can go up about that high, spin all the way around, Charlie? down, ankle, or the whatever you call this thing, go up about that high into a side kick, go up this high to a front kick. There we go. Alright, so. <coughs> That's pretty much it for the articulation, and you may want to put him in hot water. He is, like, really stiff. So, yeah, and the um, Z on his helmet, when you get him out of packaging, will be laid back. So, you're going to want to push it forward. So, that's it for his articulation. Alright, so, for a quick pose on Zed here. He can um, hold his staff pretty well. He even does a good two-handed, that was two-handed grip. Right there, as you see. And this is more like of a ba or psh pose, like where he's shooting some out of his staff. So I think you can do that in the series. But yeah, so that's Zed. All right, so this is more of an evil laughing kind of pose. So, 360 look at him. And then I knock him down. So, that's good. Alright, so final thoughts on this set. It's a really good set. I really like it. So, now I have my first Chroma Fury Saber. That's good. And I really like the blue armor. So, that's really good armor, in my opinion. Really, I want to collect all the Rangers variations of the armor. He's the first one I got. So, really happy to have him. So, so, and then Zed. Uh, the highlight of this pack, no doubt, is Zed. And especially having him, like, in a four-inch, like, scale. I have, like, a bigger Zed from the Lightning Collection. But I'm much... I like this four-inch Zed a lot more than my Lightning Collection one. Just because I, I, I really like the four-inch ones. They're, like, my favorite variation of figures so that's good now the bike um the, the bike's a hit or miss it's good to have the bike but really can't do much other than keep your hand on it and roll it across the floor like that or do that it'll fall over mid-ride but so that's good thank you guys for watching see you guys next one bye